Hello students, very good to you, to all. So today we are going to discuss about unconditioned function structures. It consists of three keywords. They are break, continue, total. What is unconditioned function structure? It does not need any condition to control the program execution. For example, if for while you can take repeated to our condition in the compulsory we take what some condition and we, we are going to execute the program that program execution will flow based on condition so here we are not applying any condition but program execution flow may affect right so in that the first one is break so break is nothing but students you can apply break in while loop to while and for loop. When you are applying in while loop, when in while loop you have some list of statements, in do while also you have some list of statements, in for loop also you have some list of statements. When particular statement is executed, for, for example, the statement only break after some line number of executions. If break statement is executed, immediately it terminate the while loop and it will coming from the while loop. In do while also same. In for loop also same. When break appears, simply what it will do? It will coming from the loop. Coming from the loop means stop the execution of while, do while, for loop. And we can also use in switch case also. Here in this particular uh, example, it will take one character. What is it character? Like it will take one character that is plus minus multiplication division minus. If you apply place operator, so it will do result equal to number one plus number two, then it will display. And later it will do what? Break. Break means after this particular case is completed, you return what? Break. Break is nothing but it will stop the execution of this case. And this switch loop also terminate. If you apply minus, this particular minus will be executed and break. Multiplication, multiplication, division, division, modulus, modulus. If you don't put break, all the cases will be executed. Right? Okay. If the any case is not executed, the default wrong selection will come. Then coming to continue. Continue. When in a list of uh, statements in while do while are for loop, when continuous statement appears, so it will go to condition in while. In do while also it will go to condition. When a continuous statement is today, it will go to modification. Uh, I will show you some examples here. Okay. So, this is the uh, some sample program. I am saving it right now. So, this is on desktop. I am executing this. Right. 
So eleventh and eighteenth so students, what is the output you will get? One. Next, I I will be implemented. I equal to two. Two less than or equal to ten. I should do equal to equal to three. Condition false again. Eleventh line will be executed. When line when ninth line is executed, when seventh line condition two, ninth line will be executed. Next, I equal to three. I equal to three. Two less than or equal to ten. Three equal to equal to three. Condition true. So ninth line what is the ninth line? Break. When this condition is true, only ninth line will be executed. When this condition is false, the remaining code is what? Eleventh line is executed. So what is the output of this program? One, two, one. Okay, one, two, one. If I write this input f before, what is the output? So tell me. One, two, three. After one, after one. One equal to three condition false. After two equal to one, one equal to three, three equal to one. So we can display the values because we are writing from statement before the next statement. Okay. So this is about break. Next, I am going to explain content. The same example I am taking in my what are so see I told you when continue appears it will go to the increment of it. So you know now we are same as we have for previous one. One equal to equal to three condition pass. What is the output? One two equal to equal to three condition pass. What is the output? Two. When three comes, three equal to equal to three it will go to it. Continue. Continue means it will not come to here. Directly it will go to I plus plus. What it will become? I equal to four. So three will be skipped from this. Okay. Right, right, try to understand. So I am written here two now. I equal to one. One equal to equal to two condition false. One will be displayed. Two, two equal to equal to means it will not come. It will execute continue. Continue means it will not come to down. It will go to equal to right. So I becomes three. Three, three less than or equal to ten. Three equal to equal to condition false. Again, three will be printed like this scenario. So what is it? Two will not come here. Okay. Next. Next last one that is uh, uh, what is it? All I am looking for is next one. Go to step. What is called in this particular program? You have normal and check code. So line number one to line number two. So here line number five. What I am looking for. Let us discuss what is this. This is the last. Last is what is the label. You can write here any name. Okay, like this. You write here SSK. You can also write SSK. Okay. Got it? So, you can write any name in the case of this is label. This is label. So, this is also label name. Okay. Let us try to execute. How we can execute? See. Fourth, fourth line will pass executed. We are at first print of statement. Next fifth line is what? Go to last. Go to last means where last label you have. It will go to that line. So this line. What is the eighth line? Eighth line. What you will do? Last. And what happened here? From fifth line to directly you jump to which line? Eighth line. How many statements you have? Sixth line. Seventh. So this is you can call as what you can call as this one. You go to statement. So jump from one line to other line. What is this one? So what is the this program? We are at first print of statement and we are at last print of statement. Okay. Suppose if you write this one here, what happens? Thank you, Shreds. Thank you for watching the video. So, this topic is uh, unconditional conversion. So, if I'm this, I'm going to take it.